Hey guys, this is Bomb speaking here, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to trade effectively. So a long time ago, I would get myself in a situation that I would look at the enemy army and mine and compare it, and I would have no idea if it was going to be a good trade or a bad trade. So because of this, I've created a concept which I call the four elements to trade effectively which my students use in every single game they play. In this concept, we consider four things in both our army and the enemy army. The first one is quantity. The second one is composition. The third one is position. And lastly, the fourth one is micro. The goal is to look specifically in each one of these areas and look for advantages and disadvantages to see if you should or not engage the enemy. Let me show you some examples. Here is an example that you can see that the Terran have more army than the Protoss. The Terran has an advantage in quantity and the Protoss has an advantage in composition. The choke point is a terrible position for the Terran to gauge into because that's going to amplify the damage from the storm. So even though the Terran might have more quantity, that does not necessarily mean he's going to beat the enemy. Usually composition beats quantity. If instead the Terran decided to take the fight in a more open area, he would have traded much more effectively. Because the storm would not be as strong because units will naturally make a concave, reducing the damage per second. Here is another example, that the Zerg have an advantage in quantity, and the Terran have an advantage in composition. At this moment, the Zerg decides to target fire one of the siege tanks, with the purpose of trading more effectively. But oftentimes, Micro is a two-sided sword, and that can help you or kill you. This is a very common mistake in lower leagues. If the Zerg would just have attacked the ground, that would have been a much better trade. Here is an example of Mass Mutas versus Thors. Quantity-wise, the Zerg have an advantage, while the Terran have an advantage in composition. Let's see how this trades out. As you can see, the Mutas clumping up are amplifying the damage from the Thors, leading to a terrible trade. If the Zerg instead microed using the magic box technique, this trade would have been much more effective by nullifying the splash damage from the Thors. This is an example that micro can substitute composition. Now this is a very interesting and even my master students sometimes are not aware about. In this scenario, we have both the players have even quantity and composition. Let's see the outcome of this. Now in this specific case, we just had the siege tanks in auto attack and just splitting the bio army. If instead the Terran decided to focus fire with the siege tanks on the Banglings, this would have traded much better. In this scenario we can see that one of the Protoss have stalkers, while the other doesn't. Quantity wise they have the same, let's see how this trades out. Stalkers are a good composition together with disruptors, but versus this specific composition, swapping the stalkers for charge lots would have made a huge difference. So 
So to wrap this up, remember that this technique is all about looking for the four elements and identifying beforehand you engage if you should or not take the fight. I also have an exercise for you. For the games you lose and you have no idea why you lost, start watching the replays to identify specifically in which areas you're lacking. Was it a problem with quantity or composition? Maybe it was a problem with micro. Or maybe it was a problem with position. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Start applying and let me know how it goes. Hey guys, if you are looking to improve in StarCraft 2, I am giving a 50% discount in my first coaching session. Just check out the details in the description below and I see you guys next time.